Hey guys, it's Rob Seabrook with Paperless Humans. Welcome to episode 31 of this free Noteful course. Noteful does not have a lot of settings. On the home page, go to the apps icon to customize your app settings. Themes determine how the app looks. You can set it to system so that the app uses your iPad settings when you switch between light and dark mode. Noteful does not support true dark mode. It only switches the user interface, but your notebooks don't change. When you choose light, it means your app permanently remains in light mode. even if the iPad is in dark mode. Dark is the opposite of light. Your app remains in dark mode permanently. Your toolbar's appearance can also match the theme of your iPad or it can be permanently dark. The app's default setting is the dark toolbar. Cloud Sync lets you turn on Use iCloud. To sync your notes across your Apple devices. Noteful is also available on the iPhone and M-series MacBooks. So when you turn this on, you can see your notes on different devices. Status gives you updates on what's syncing. Document editing lets you turn on the pull to add page gesture. This allows you to add pages by pulling up the last page of your document. When turned off, adding pages to your notebook is tedious because you have to rely on the page editing feature. For an improved handwriting experience and palm rejection, we recommend turning on palm rejection. You can also choose where the page numbers in your notebooks show. On the left, right, or turn them off completely. You can turn on gestures for several actions in Noteful. Two finger tap to undo. Three finger tap to redo. Finger double tap to zoom the pages to fit the width. Export data lets you export all your data as a zip file out of Noteform. This is a manual backup that you can save anywhere you like, locally on your iPad or any cloud service of your choice. All your notebooks are saved in the Noteful format, and you can retrieve them whenever you like. If you don't want to save the backup in Google Drive, this can be a workaround for that in Noteful. 
However, you have to remember to back up your notes regularly. And we found that to not be very practical for a digital workflow. It is much better to auto backup digital notes because you won't have to worry about consistently backing them up. You then have to connect to Google Drive, pick the destination folder where you want to save your backup. You can choose the tags you want to backup. or those you want to exclude. Noteful can back up your notes in two formats. Noteful or PDF. The Noteful format only opens in Noteful and remains editable while PDFs open in any app. The notes become uneditable though, so you can only annotate them. We recommend saving them in the Noteful format. And that is all about the settings in Noteful. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next episode.